evening and welcome to Lori Prince Live. Tonight's subject, the growing drug epidemic. In cities across the nation, drug use is up and crime is on the rise. Should the government step in on the growing war on drugs, or is it a hands-on approach that is the only solution in this impossible dilemma? I am joined here today by clinical psychologist and Harvard University professor Morales Raja. Good to be back, Laurie. And with us via satellite phone are two concerned citizens who are doing their best to raise awareness of the issue, a Mr. Hatter and a Mr. Hare. Mr. Hatter, how are you this evening? Wonderful, Laurie. Yes, yes, we couldn't be better. Now, Mr. Hatter, am I to assume that you are for the legalization of marijuana? Well, yes. Yeah. And what about PCP? Yes. Crack cocaine? Yes. Opium? Yes. Methamphetamines? Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, and don't forget the acid, Laurie. Oh, yes, yes, uh, definitely acid and uh, ecstasy, uh, mescaline. Oh, and what's that green gobbly booze that makes you see things? Speak in France. Absinthe? Yes, yes, I just love absinthe. You know, that's legal now in this country. Oh, too sweet. Score one for the good guys. Well, that sounds like a very extensive list. Is there anything on there you might have left out? Well, there's that hookah the blue caterpillar smokes. What? in that thing anyway. I don't know, but I want some. Getting back to the subject at hand, this is a very touchy issue with very touchy points of view. Uh, Professor Raja, what's your take on this? Well, I'm appalled. <gasps> My goodness! Legalizing these hazardous narcotics would be criminally irresponsible and a gateway to rising crime. Oh, lighten up! Seriously, you need to stop yapping and get hooked up with a J! I'm sorry, I get high on life. Well, you certainly look it. Not! Well, it's very simple. It's the parents' responsibility to take care of these matters so that children don't turn to drugs in the first place. That's right! Since the dawn of time, mankind has attempted to control that which it didn't understand. But with every tightening of the grip comes another lost soul slip through the fingers. If we spent more time in the home and less time in the offices of some soulless bureaucracy, then we'd have less children slipping through the cracks instead of turning to crack. Well said, Marge. You know, sometimes you can be quite insightful. Well, you know what they say. Here today, gone tomorrow. I've lost all respect for you. Oh yeah? Well, I've done a little research into your late night shenanigans, and I've discovered a laundry list of criminal negligence. Yes, we've all heard the reports. Thunderous all-night raves center around the consumption of pastries and fermented leaf beverages. Oh, for God's sake, it's a harmless tea party. Well, one insider, we will simply refer to her as Mrs. A, had this to say. What these two call tea parties are nothing more than backyard, drug-fueled, interspecies orgies where underage drinking and smoking go hand-in-hand hand amid psychedelic acid-tripping and improper use of the condiment mustard. Mustard! Don't let us be silly. It was lemon. That's different. Uh, wait, wait, I'm not finished. And all delivered in a shadowy haze of steam and smoke that would make Cheech and Chong pass out from overload. Now you may respond. That little apron-wearing Harlequin is one to talk. She said she was sent to us by a disappearing talking cat for crying out loud. On the heels of a white rabbit. What a crazy. What a loon. What a proverbial load, Laurie. Do you two deny any of the other charges? Disorderly conduct? Serving illegal substance to a minor? We thought she was 21. Numerous health code violations. Illegal fireworks improperly set off from a... Cake delivery system? But that was a very merry unbirthday cake. Excuse me, but what is this very merry unbirthday that you speak of? Well, you see, Laurie, everybody gets just one birthday. That's one birthday every year. Ah, but there's 364 unbirthdays. And that's why we're gathered here to cheer. So that would technically mean that today is my unbirthday, too. It is. What a small world it is. Well, in that case, Ah, baby, 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 I'd like to ask these two clowns about their petty thievery. Or how about, you know, practicing watch repair without a license? That watch was two days slow! Do you have a license? No! But he did go to DeVry for two years! Yeah, I think you guys are on something already. Oh, get rid of this loser! Hang up! Hang up! Cut his mic! Actually, the caller does bring up a very good point. How about it, Mr. Hatter? What is in your tea? What are you implying? 
That tea is made only with the finest of medicinal herbs! And does that explain these PETA reports about rampant animal abuse, such as uh, sedating small mice by suffocating them with globs of raspberry jelly? Okay, so we want a little gaga while on the Colombian coca tea, but it's not like we started our own Michael Vick dogfighting ring. Oh, no, really, that's not a bad idea. I totally agree. Give him a call. Uh, speaking of calls, we have another caller on the line. Hello, caller, you are on the air. Hello, Lori. Glad to see you feel about nicely. <sighs> Mr. Joker, I thought I had a restraining order against you. Well, technically, I am more than 50 feet away from you right now. <sighs> All right, what do you want? I just want to offer my take on the issue. Is that a crime? No, but everything else you've done is. Lori? That hurts. Hey, leave the clown alone! He just wants to voice his opinion! Thank you, Hatter. Isn't this Lori guy just impossible? Quite impossible! Well, my thought is, if people didn't want to do drugs, they wouldn't keep doing them. It's simple, uh, supply and demand, Lori. Give the people what they want. I mean, who here in all honesty can say that they haven't done drugs once in their life? Well, I haven't. Neither have I. That's because you're a narc! Yes, quite a narc! Hey, I am not a narc! Narc, 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 Oh, Lori, where did you dig these guys up? They are a delight. You know, you should have these guys on more often. I think that would be extraordinarily dangerous. Do you guys do parties? We do tea parties! Good, cuz, uh, I know someone very special who has a very merry um birthday today. It's me! It is! It is. Well, in that case, uh, very, 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 very a birthday to you, to you! Oh, very, 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 very a birthday to, to you, to you! While I'd hate to interrupt your unness, we do have another caller on the line. Uh, hello, caller, you are on the air. Where is he? Oh, jeez, do you just religiously watch this show? What gives you the right to lecture us on America's vast and overreaching drug policy? Hey, who's the clown? I'm the Joker. No, I mean the other clown, the one in the bat suit. He's Mr. Man, and he's a very, very obnoxious caller. Fuck you, Lori. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nancy, where did that come from? I'm sorry. That was harsh. I'll say! Totally uncalled for! I, uh... You want to talk about it? I'm sorry, it's just... It's my unbirthday today, and nobody seems to have noticed. It is! Oh, no. It is. Well, in that case, uh... Happy birthday, 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 birthday to you, to you! A oh, very merry birthday gosh, to you, guys. to you! Now blow the candles out, my dear, and make your wish All right, come true! Nobody is blowing out any candles here! Oh, oh, no. No. Got a point there, Lori. You are a bit of a narc. I am not a narc. Narc, 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 Who's there? A big fat stinking narc. I don't get it. Professor Raja, your thoughts? You are a bit of a narc, Lori. I mean about the issue. Oh, um, what are we talking about again? I don't know. This interview's over. Thank you all for wasting my time. Oh, shut up, Lori. I've rigged explosives underneath your seat. If the show goes off, so do you. Well, welcome to the 24-hour Lori Prince Marathon. 24 hours? Well, you're gonna need music. Ah! Happy birthday, Lori! Don't worry, Lori. I'm on my way. Oh crap! Lori, Lori, I'm stuck in traffic. Look, just hang tight, and I'll be there in a few hours. Hey, Lori, you want to see a magic trick? You got a pencil on you? Wait, I think I got a pencil. I got a pencil right here. No, no, I don't. I, I really need a pencil in order for this trick to work.